Good morning, everyone, or I should say to somebody, good evening. Uh, two weeks already have passed after my last webinar, which you can also find in our website. Uh, I hope that some of you have listened to it. And uh, however, after every webinar, I'm just, you know, waiting for your feedback, for your opinion, but uh, usually I don't get it. Uh, so if you have some feedback, please share it with me. Uh, via my email, it's andrus.unicus at teltonica.lt or you can find me in LinkedIn uh, by writing just my name and surname, Andrus Unicus. Uh, so your opinion is very important uh, if you want to make, you know, webinars better. Uh, so today, as always, you have an ability to ask any question via Q&A where my colleagues Tadas and I hope Marius will join also, will answer them. Also, in the end, uh, we will highlight some of them. Furthermore, if you want to chat, again, uh, I can say that you can use chat window for any information which is not related to a question. After the webinar, we will upload the recording to our website and our YouTube channel. Uh, furthermore, Q&A session will be uploaded to our website. Another very important thing is to follow us on LinkedIn and other social media channels, such as YouTube, Facebook, and others. So we have started making webinars approximately, I think more than a year ago. And if I remember correctly, one of our first webinars were about COVID-19. So after almost a year, we are making another one about COVID-19 use cases. Probably not everyone knew that we will be making this webinar, that we will be working from home, that COVID-19 will be pre present for such a long time. Before heading directly to use cases, I would like to highlight the importance of this pandemic to individuals and businesses. Uh, so talking about impact that COVID-19 has made to individuals includes such important ones as risk of falling into poverty. As you know, more than 100 million of workers have lost their jobs. Many people have stopped working which led to decreasing number of cash flow, which led to poverty. Furthermore, countries uh, wanted to decrease the spread of COVID-19 virus, so they included a huge bunch of restrictions, such as mobility restrictions. As an example, in Lithuania, in my country, only one or two weeks ago, uh, our management, let's say, uh, let us to travel from one city to another. And you know that Lithuania is a very small country and going from one city to another one might take less than an hour. And I believe that most of the countries had or has the same restrictions. So what that indicates? It indicates that many businesses have stopped working, which again led to poverty level increase. If we would take another perspective, businesses or let's say IoT, what impact COVID-19 has made and is still making? Do you remember approximately, let's say one year ago, what happened in China? They closed everything for about one or two months. Everything means everything, including factories. And you understand that probably 80% of supply is coming from China. What happened? a shortage of supply, which led to hundreds of businesses to bankrupt. Since they didn't have what to sell, they didn't have what to install, they were not able to meet the orders. However, one positive thing happened to IoT, the increasing demand for remote connectivity, which includes uh, areas such as contactless services, payment with the credit card, vending machines, self-service, uh, parcel terminals, self-service, photo terminals, etc. Probably half of you or even more of you have children. What happened? Almost every country started to include restrictions to education. They have sent everyone to home learning. Furthermore, probably some of you are still working from home as I am. Yeah. Uh, how it was easy to start it approximately one year ago, you know, in, in Lafayette, I would say it was difficult. Some of you probably have bought better networking equipment to your homes. Some of you have changed internet service provider to obtain better speeds. Some of you even went to a location where the signal is better. And another yet very important part of IoT was oriented into medical services from testing to vaccination, 
from innovations such as mobile testing sites to existing infrastructure connectivity innovations in hospitals, elder homes, and other places. And these innovations led to different use cases, even those that seemed unnecessary in the beginning, such as autonomous delivery robots in hotels and hospitals. Everybody understands the importance in virus and contacts between people. So autonomous robots eliminates the risk of being caught by a virus. And one of our partners realized this and found an innovative way how to do this simply by creating a robot. Our partner called a company called uh, Savioke. So Savioke was, sound, was found uh, uh, eight years ago in 2013 by a team of leading robotics innovators from the groundbreaking research incubator called Willow Garage. Its mission is to let's say, measurably improve people's lives by creating and developing innovative, helpful, and friendly delivery robots that work safely and reliably in dynamic public environments. And I believe they are doing a great job. So their autonomous delivery robot is unique in its ability to operate in crowded public environments, in hospitals, in hotels, or enterprise facilities, safely navigating across their large and complex footprints. Really, a robot must seamlessly operate across the floor pans, plants, call and ride elevators, and pass through automatic doors. All of this without human input. And the best solution for this was to include our RT240, a simple yet powerful CAT4 LTE router that is small in size, has a reliable LTE connection, and needed certifications for this case. The robot works, you know, that 24 7 and needs to be re uh, re reachable. Anytime. So any random shutting down or restarting would, wouldn't be acceptable and cause a lot of problems. And this is where RMS, our remote management system, plays a significant role by granting full remote access to our product and their robot. You remember when I have mentioned remote work and education? Well, not only these sectors required this, the remote connection but also all events such as sports live streaming. What is very interesting with this case is that we have partnered with one Lithuanian company and they offered their help uh, by providing needed cameras, accessories to check if our routers are capable of sending the live recording to YouTube. And well, it did. We have filmed our basketball event which was held by two Teltonica's teams. And you understand that when we check it, we check it in real environment and we can tell you that it works perfectly. But not only sports events needed to be streamed, also churches did this. In Lithuania, you had an ability to listen and watch live religious services and for many people across the world, religion plays an important part in their daily lives and identities. As presented in this topology, the solution focuses on live video streaming of Holy Mass in the churches. The solution consists of equipment that requires minimal human interaction, a camera, HDMI to USB tethering device, a laptop, and one of our RTX09 professional, professional cellular routers. Most uh, cameras can offer excellent video quality. However, they are not designed to act as a live streaming device. With HDMI to a USB tethering device, the laptop recognizes the camera as it would be a webcam, allowing even 4K quality streams. The RT X09 was chosen for this solution because of a very capable uh, 4G LD CAT6 mobile module, which can provide reliable connectivity with speed up to 300 megabits. Besides that, you have the freedom to mount the router where the best cellular signal is reachable. Dual SIM functionality uh, with auto failover allows leveraging the connection between two mobile operators to keep the live stream in case of any signal drops. Equally important in this solution is to make it 
plug and play with RT X09 paired with our RMS remote management system, it is possible to configure the router or multiple routers remotely and simply send them to different locations. Even people with no or little technical know-how will have no problems enabling their cellular connectivity with RT X09 or any other router that we make as the easiness of usage of our routers is one of our key priorities while uh, we are designing all our products. This is very important when we are speaking about working from home also. Since businesses have 10, 100 or even 1000 employees which are needed to be sent uh, to work from home and not everyone has a perfect internet connectivity at their place, not everyone has a secure router which is providing internet to your laptop, IP phone, or printer. But for this solution, you can easily pick RT240 and get rid of all doubts that you or your employer might have. Since RT240 has 10 different VPN protocols, which ensures that the link between HQ and your home will be safe and encrypted, it will offer the best internet connectivity and backup with one SIM card and it will give a perfect Wi-Fi signal to your endpoints. <clears throat> if we are speaking about working from home, we must mention learning from home also. The same requirement can apply here also as we are applying to working from home. Security, reliability, and easy to use. And the best way to ensure stable, reliable, and secure internet connectivity for households and provide the possibility for remote education activities is to use a VPN cellular router. Creating a secure and encrypted link to schools, homes of teachers, and students' households uh, are the priority because otherwise internal, internal education systems could get compromised. As you can see, uh, for this case, the same RT240 was chosen because it offers the best value when it comes to easy setup, reliable cellular connectivity, and features. This professional router is the best seller from our portfolio uh, because it features 4G LTE CAT4 uh, module uh, with Wi-Fi and even two physical Ethernet interfaces. With RT240, students can connect laptops, tablets, or PCs. Furthermore, RT240 supports Teltonica Remote Management System, the RMS, which allows configuring an infinite number of device, devices before shipping them to student households, leaving them with just a few simple set, the steps to set up, such as powering up the device and attaching antennas. Furthermore, with RMS, the system operator can track data usage, generate customizable reports, and troubleshoot any problems even without public IP. Besides, RT240 comes with advanced content filtering features, which are essential to make sure that students can access what is needed for their education and preventing access to unwanted websites. Going directly now to medical services use cases, I will begin with mobile testing. Since even more of them, of those mobile testing sites are popping up, at least in Lithuania, and I believe in other countries also, in all of them, there is no internet cables. Usually there is no internet cables, but the internet is needed to reach the database, to reach HQ, even to reach CCTV control room because there are cameras for the security. And again, a cellular router plays a very important role here. It doesn't require internet cables. It doesn't require particular placing. You can place it anywhere. You can insert two different uh, operator SIM cards uh, to ensure that there will be backup if one operator fails your needs. And RT X11 uh, is the perfect choice here for its uh, LTE CAT6 module offering higher data throughput and dual band Wi-Fi for person personal needs. Another very important topping is hospitals. Why? Because access to com comprehensive quality healthcare services is essential for promoting and maintaining health, preventing and managing diseases, reducing unnecessary disability and premature death, and achieving health equity for all people around the globe. 
Hospitals are the backbone of every healthcare. They need to provide quality services because the lives of people depends on it. Usually hospitals are fitted with a big variety of equipment and all of this equipment must be monitored and must be sent uh, to the data center. However, currently the hospitals around the world uh, which are dealing with the extreme pandemic of COVID-19 are struggling to keep their networks secure due to increased hacker activities. Cyber attacks threaten not only the lives of patients, but also the broader fight against the coronavirus. The main challenge here is to ensure fast, reliable, and secure connectivity. And RTX 11 can be a perfect solution here because RTX 11 with 4G LT CAT6 module uh, is the ideal choice for the solution. It provides reliable connectivity with speeds up to 300 megabits and dual band Wi-Fi. Dual SIM functionality with auto failover adds additional solution reliability, uh, leveraging the connection quality from uh, of two separate mobile operators. And security is one of our top priorities at Teltonica Networks. All our routers, again, are equipped with multiple VPNs, firewalls, and finally, RTX 11 is also compatible with RMS, which allows you to remote setup, configure, and manage. <clears throat> if we are already thinking about the end of COVID-19, at least I'm thinking, you know, I want uh, it to end <laughs> as soon as possible. Uh, so we must think also about vaccination. And already in some countries, people are vaccinated not only in hospitals, but in mobile facilities also. The same as with the testing ones, you remember. Uh, so you can guess that the router plays again a significant role and the same important role here. It provides a secure, reliable mobile internet connectivity. Uh, the last one about medical services is just a simple pharmacy chain internet connectivity. However, it might look only simple, but it is highly important nowadays because in some countries, again, including Lithuania, there are rumors that there will be a possibility to uh, vaccinate in these pharmacies. In this solution, the pharmacy chain infrastructure is centrally managed from the headquarters. Uh, RTX08 router is used to connect the internet and RMS, and the VPN network is established, uh, let's say, to securely exchange the data among each pharmacy and the HQ. Then locally in each pharmacy, a TSV100 switch is connected to the RTX08 and provides internet to IP cameras and phones. The PoE technology of this device, of the TSV100, allows a quick and economical plug and play setup. Besides using the uh, connect feature of the RMS, enables remotely reaching not just Teltonica Networks equipment, but also cameras and phones for configuration and maintenance. Gigabit Ethernet ports available in the TSV100 switch provides enough data throughput required for uncompromised camera image quality. Uh, all right, so heading straight to contactless services, uh, I would like to mention one use case which plays an enormous role in fighting the pandemic or at least stopping the spread of a virus. The self-service parcel terminals, or you can call them lockers or any other name. At least I am using these terminals probably twice a week or even more often, since most of goods can be bought via e-shops, which are using delivery services to these parcel terminals. And sell a router like RT950 or non-seller one, if there is internet cable like RTX 10, can play a really uh, important role here because it offers a secure and reliable internet connectivity to the security camera and payment terminal, terminal which is inside the machine. Furthermore, as soon as the carrier uploads parcels to the terminal, we get an SMS message to our mobile phones that your parcel is here and you can pick it up anytime. And guess what? How the carrier gets Wi-Fi to his barcode scanner? 
Well, by using Wi-Fi, which is provided by the same router like RT950 or other our product. So it is super important to have a reliable internet connectivity all the time. Going further to the public transport and counting people in it, you know that many countries released uh, social distancing restrictions and less than half of the public bus can be occupied. How to measure that? The driver will, will not count on fingers how many passengers are in the bus and how many of them are leaving it on every bus stop. Smart counting sensors are doing this and if there is no place inside the bus, the smart information systems are showing this. And the last topology for today is remote facility management where RET300 plays the most important role. The recent worldwide pandemic showed that in no time, in no time, a big number of employees might become temporarily unavailable due to isolation requirements and the site may lose the necessary workforce required to resolve unforeseen challenges. In such situations, secure remote accessibility and management becomes essential. Therefore, a professional industrial networking equipment is a must to connect these machines and provide remote management while ensuring that the security and reliability of the internet connection. One of the biggest benefits of connecting the manufacturing machinery to the network is the ability to collect data. RT300, the industrial Ethernet router, has five Ethernet ports, two uh, IO elements, and a USB to easily connect to various equipment and computers to the internet. Pre configured firewall ensures that security of the solution from the very start and multiple top rated VPNs provides data encryption. Besides, a broad interval of supported power, power voltages makes this product suitable for a wide range of electronic equipment. It has a rugged design with a wide range of uh, um, operating temperatures and vibration resistance makes this device durable and easily applicable in various settings. One of the biggest uh, benefits of this solution lies in remote management system RMS. While RMS management allows to remotely access RT300 for updates and maintenance, uh, RMS Connect enables uh, to do the same with the machinery behind the router. This means that an engineer doesn't have to be present in a manufacturing facility to be able to configure, troubleshoot, and manage the equipment. It's also possible to set up events reporting when an email is sent out after a specific event occurs listed in the pre-configured rules. So you have heard more than 10 different use cases. Also, you can find the descriptions in our website, but uh, you know you have seen also the impact, what impact COVID-19 has made to businesses, individuals, and other segments. But what we see, what is the vision of the end of COVID-19 is not such different from what we are dealing today. We see that there will be an increasing remote working since many businesses have realized that working from home isn't a bad idea. Furthermore, more and more companies will rely on remote management instead of physical presence because they have seen that it is simpler and even less expensive. And lastly, when everything will come back to the uh, level that we had before COVID-19, there will be many companies that will have much more courage to invest into new technologies and they will participate in tenders projects where there will be not 20 endpoints, but 200 of them, 2000 of them. The uh, proof of concept will be not two products, it will be more than 10. And when the installation scale will increase, they will start looking into products that are offering the best price quality ratio and they will, uh, they will realize that Teltonica Networks is positioning themselves exactly in this level for a high-end product for a mid-end price. So that is all I wanted to share with you today. 
uh, again, make sure to check out our Wiki page and make sure to follow us on various social media channels. And uh, if you would like to get the latest news, just subscribe to the newsletter if you didn't, didn't do that yet.